Brought to you by wellnessplus.tv and made possible by the generous donations of Psyche Truth Patreon supporters. Now we're going to do upper body massage techniques. Starting at the feet, I'm just going to lift up lightly, not even pulling her legs off the table. I'm just going to do some light traction and tugging just to kind of get her body loosened and warmed up, used to my touch. And I'm going to come underneath her knee and I'm just going to support her with my forearm. Coming into a stretch, I'm going to line up that knee and that ankle using my forearm to kind of push it against her quad a little bit, giving her an even deeper stretch. Seven seconds is enough. I'm just going to support her on her hip, holding her knee, excuse me, her ankle, and I'm just going to press over to the other side of the table. Seven seconds is enough. Supporting underneath that knee, holding her ankle still. I'm gonna press up into her armpit using my body pressure. Bringing that foot back down, crossing that knee over. Just gonna lift up that lower back slightly. Then putting that foot into her leg, opening up that pelvic, letting that leg drop down. Just gonna press on the opposite leg lightly and then press on the opposite knee lightly. Just going to a little bit more of a stretch, touching on, pop, on top of that pelvic bone and on top of the opposite pelvic bone very lightly. Just gonna take a few breaths here. Relaxing the muscles in the stomach side, the front of the legs, the side of the hips, and of course you would repeat on the other side. Using my forearm to support her leg, to fight against it, just seeing where this range of motion is. Right up here, that hip glute, holding that ankle, push over, give her a nice little stretch, supporting underneath that knee, coming back into that armpit. traction in here, coming back up into that pelvic bone, just really breaking up any tension in this front of the pelvic that could be holding on. Bring the body back to erect position. Coming up to the neck. We're just gonna come underneath that occipital. We're gonna support her head with both my hands in a bowl, essentially. I'm just gonna do some light traction with that neck. A little bit of pumping motion. Pressing away from the ears, we're just going to bear claw it out a little bit, back and forth. Just really warming her body up. Supporting that head again. We're going to push against that shoulder while we bring the neck opposite, giving her a nice little stretch in here. Switching out. 
can do the same on the other side, pushing down and tugging away, even letting my hand run off her. Providing a little bit of muscular arm massage. We're just going to do some light Swedish. Supporting my client as I ma manipulate and move around the arm. I'm going to work my way into the bottom part of that clavicle, into that delt, and touching upon that bicep in here. And just let my pressure be a little bit firmer as I leave my hand open. Picking her up. Just gonna glide back on top of there, giving it a little bit more pressure. Supporting underneath her shoulder. And I can use the palm of my hand for more pressure. Letting my body support my pressure. One last stroke right up to that clavicle, let it sit for a few seconds. Release. And of course you'd want to repeat on the other side. Doing some light Swedish, manipulating that arm around, repositioning her into proper position, using light strokes, working my way up into that clavicle up in there, just the edge, supporting that arm. I can give more pressure if I desire by lunging into it with my body and using my palm a little bit more. I'm not going to go too deep because that would just be too tense. Wiggle her arm out, flap it out like a chicken. And then just do a nice little stroke. And one more, and we're gonna trigger. You'll know where to trigger. You'll feel heavy, dense, built up area. That's the perfect spot. It's close to the connection of that shoulder and that clavicle. And then that's when we would turn client over to continue the face down portion of the upper body. Now I'm going to start the face down portion for the upper body massage techniques. Clearly start client face down and apply some lotion or oil. I'm going to come over to the other side and we're going to start at the hips, working at the lowest part of the hip, coming up towards the tailbone. Just going to give us a little bit more room right here, right above this divot. We're just going to paw it out. Um, starting at the bottom, I'm going to lightly paw up towards that tailbone, the SI joint, and the sacrum. I'm going to work my way all the way up, 
essentially to her neck. Move the arm out of my way. Go around a second time. While I'm doing this, I'm going to be feeling for her trigger points, knots, build up, puffiness. And so far, she feels rather good. I'm not feeling any knots, build up, or puffiness. If I did, I would address it. So right up into this area, we have the QL muscle. This normally brings mid-back pain, which most people associate for their upper back. It's actually in the lower body. So we're just going to do some more stroking just to relax that muscle and get it comfortable with us going a little bit deeper. I like to wiggle my hands back and forth in between that hip bone and that lower rib so that way I'm not just diving in and working my way in and doing a little bit of jostling as I do this. I'm going to not bend my fingers. I want to leave them straight. I'm going to give myself a little bit of a lunge position and I'm just going to push on in. Now a lot of times people are tight and your fingers just want to roll on off onto the spine. That's why it's vital to start down deep, do a little bit of wiggle digging, and just work your way into there underneath that top layer. And go slow if needed. Right when you feel that point, go ahead and attack and push on in. I know she's feeling it because I can feel her muscle pulsing. And as it lets go, I actually like to run my finger up along the erector to see how far up it actually releases. Now she's pretty tight up in here. So we'll just be a little bit more gentle. Getting that technique again, lightly jiggling, wiggling, working our way in, giving some extreme pressure points, making our way into the deep part of that QL muscle underneath that erector spinae muscle, letting that erector spinae pop on top, and you go underneath, diving deep near that spine, and you'll know when you hit it. It'll be nice and tight and hard, like a rope. I'll just take a few breaths here again. And let our fingers follow that muscle up and around. Once you've addressed that QL muscle to release that mid-back, Coming along the side of this shoulder. We're going to be feeling for tightness, not build up, the norm. And she's feeling pretty good. I'm not feeling any restrictions. For right in here, another thing we can do actually is lift up the scapula and actually go into her rib cage. So that's going to be right next to her breast underneath that scapula and right into that rib. So with my palm, I'm just going to press up. I want to walk underneath that shoulder blade that I'm picking up right here. And I'm rocking back and forth. I got a good grip. I'm going to come up with the other hand and press right into it. And if I really wanted to, I could actually use my elbow and really get into there and lift up that whole entire scapula on her. I feel like that would be a little too extreme for her right now. I think she's been doing some athletic things. So um, I think for now, 
just pawing it up, picking it up with the, the edge of the paw, just a light little tug along the line is uh, it's helpful and that works just as well for now. Giving her a nice little trigger point right here in that connector. You'll feel the bones and you'll know what area not to be on, obviously. No pokey parts. We're just going to come back and do a little sweep up and fill it again. See if her muscle wants to respond in the same way. Not as tender now, but we still have this build up in here. Bringing the arm back over. I'm going to grab some more lotion, or oil in my case. Oil her up. Supporting her arm. I'm going to use my other free arm for massage. I'm just going to do light, just upward strokes towards the shoulder on all sides, loosening up any tight superficial muscles that she has gripping on her. Working my way into those deeper muscles. Make sure I come all the way down to this elbow here and address this back muscle in here because this one gets extremely tight. You can cross fiber it if you need to. Cross fibering, you technically would use your fingers, go back and forth. You can use your knuckles if that works better for you. Now that we finished the QL and worked our way up, we're gonna come into the arm. Supporting her arm, we're just going to use the other hand to do some light massage, bringing in some blood flow, feeling around all the muscles, seeing if there's any tightness going on. On all sides, just some nice even strokes. Especially right in the back here. Right above that elbow on the back side. There's a beautiful little trigger point right about in here. Right here, she has a little mark already, and I'm sure it's pretty tender, so we don't want a trigger in there. <laughs> Using her body pressure. I'm going to come on the inside underneath part using my palm. Right here, you see? I'm going to try and rock that muscle. And while I rock that muscle, I'm going to do my best to stay on that muscle as I work towards her neck. So I'm actually going to take her arm and I'm going to pull it down and away from me at the wrist. I'm going to use my palm, the heel on my palm, and I'm going to hit that trigger point and work my way up as I'm pushing on the inside of her arm. This is just another way to release that bicep um, without trying to beat it up from face up. It's just another way of um, using gravity to break up adhesions and to release locked muscles that normally would not give. I'm doing a little bit of a rocky motion because her muscle literally just rolled over my palm. And I'm just gonna do this a few more times. Coming up a little bit higher. I'm gonna try and, there we go, I got her gripped right in that bicep. Just gonna rock it up and down. Really. I'm going to come up into the shoulder cap, pressing internally towards the edge as I hold it. Just going to do some rocking and traction with this arm. And I'm going to bring it on down. I'm going to check it out right up in here again to see if anything has loosened. 
send up, which it has. To see if we have any limitations. We still have a little bit of build up. But for the most part, we don't have any wincing, we don't have any tension, tightness, uh, resistance. shoulder trap neck area. We're going to do a nice little massage pull, just pulling up towards that neck, pulling in towards that jaw. This little sweep in motion. Getting close to those clavicles. muscles and bring it on up into that neck. Not too hard, not too tight. Now this still could be a little much for your client. At this point, um, they may not be releasing and you may want to move into a little bit of trigger point work where we hold the back occipital ridge, we take our other hand, specifically the thumb, we're gonna run it along the edge here of the trapezius, working internally towards the clavicle. So I'm coming along that trapezius, I'm gonna actually take my finger and push it inwards and kind of hook it underneath, so that way I'm gonna run my finger along the edge of that clavicle internally. Grabbing that occipital spot, getting my finger prepared. I'm gonna find the trigger point right there. I'm right at that clavicle line and internal. And now I'm just gonna lightly press my finger internally along that clavicle, working in towards her heart. Nothing extreme. It's a little bit tighter as I get a little bit closer. Back and we're gonna check it. Still a little bit of tightness, but a lot has opened up. Now it feels mostly like this trapezius is holding. There's a few ways to address the trap. A lot of people like to do this pinch and roll. Um, I think this takes too much time. So something I like to do is using both my palms, I like to start at the edge of that shoulder. Using my palms, I'm going to just push the client back and I'm going to work my way towards the middle part of that trap on top, feeling through this and pushing into the back of the neck and I'm feeling trigger points, so right in here. I found a lovely little spot that I actually can use my palms, the edge of them, and trigger them at the same time. She might be feeling this in her neck, in her jaw, in her sinuses, there could be a few places. So essentially we're going underneath, lifting up that trapezius and then triggering in, down towards the body. So this is definitely more intense. I'm just going to let it come back up. We're going to check over it. And that feels so much better. Now moving into the neck portion. A lot of times we have this little connection at the trap and the neck. Normally clients will have like a hump here and their neck will be pushed forward like this and their back will be all hunched. So a lot of times I actually will just trigger point right in here and um, use my other hand 
to massage up and down the muscles. So I'm just going to trigger and I'm going to come along the sides and I'm just going to see if I can get in internally with her. Hers is pretty tight so I'm actually going to come along that uh, trap and I'm going to come along the front of that clavicle and I'm actually going to hit a trigger point right in here. As I hold that trigger point, I'm going to pull my hand up close to her jaw where it connects into her scalp. We're just going to hold. We're going to take a deep breath in. Just move into a nice, simple scalp massage. 